welcome back to another episode. We're at a different place today. I'm at an old school. It's an actual high school. It's Sunday afternoon. Not a bad day. Ground's pretty good to dig. So hopefully you can get some uh, good signals today. Um, I'm on a little bit of a silver drought myself. So hopefully we can get something uh, to end that today. Okay guys, I'll see you at the first find. Okay, here's a pretty good signal. Um, on a side note, I hope the wind's not too bad. Um, it's pretty windy today. I hope it doesn't affect the video too much, but this signal's not too bad. It's in a very small area. I'll let you listen to it. It's right in there. Very small pinpoint area. Okay, the target's dug. Well, not the target, but the, the plug is dug. Uh, the signal's still in here. It's pretty deep. It's right down there. I'm going to take out a couple more inches of dirt and we'll have a look, see what it is. It's very small, whatever it is. Mm. Just the scent, 75, that one was pretty deep. Yeah. Oh well, you gotta dig these, just like I mentioned in the last video. Okay, got my first surface find today. Right there. Quarter, recent. Okay, got another signal in here. Uh, it's not a high tone, it's hitting around uh, 33, 133. 134 137 Okay, plug is dug. Let's see what it is. Seem to be in there. Down here. Right down there. Something right there. That's it. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Oh, looks like a cross. Yeah. Let's take a look at that. That's an interesting find. Looks like it's off a necklace or something. Looks like it might have a little bit of age to it. That's pretty neat. Maybe a St. Christopher or something like that. All right, I'll keep plugging away here. It's not silver, but it's still a half decent find. So see you guys on the next. Pretty nice. All right, let's see what it is. Let's dig it up. All right, let's see what this is. It 
rid of that plastic. Oh, what was that? That? I'm not sure what that is. It's like a pull tab or something. Or something else. I don't know. It kind of looks like a ring. I think that's what it is. Let's see if I can get it out. Yep, it's a ring. It's a ring, there you go. Looks like it's silver. Yeah, there's a stamp inside. Yeah, there's something in there. It looks like it's a silver ring. I don't know why it wasn't hitting great unless, unless there was trash around it. I'm gonna scan the hole again after. It is sterling, you can see right in there. So there you go. Looks like a man's ring. Silver, finally. Took me a little while, but we got a ring. Okay guys, actually let me scan the hole, or at least let me run the pinpoint around. Oh, uh, look at that right there. There's a nail nail in the same hole. Oops, I dropped it. There it is. There's the ring. Let's see if there's anything else. Nope. Well, that was probably the reason why the signal wasn't the greatest. Um, with the E-Track, you gotta listen for those really high, high tone, those really high pitches. Um, what that was is it was the, the detector was picking up the silver and with the iron, the iron was probably nulling the signal out a little bit. But there you go. Ring. And that was the iron in with it. Okay guys, let's keep moving on. We got silver for the day, so that's good. On to the next. Okay, got another good signal in here. It's sounding really nice and high. Right in here. It's not super shallow. Seven inches down, you could say. 1247. 146. A little bit more clear on this angle. Small pinpoint area. It's hitting right in that silver area. We've been fooled before. Let's get it dug up, see what it is. Okay guys, just dug the plug and you're not gonna believe what's lying at the bottom of the hole. Just dug the plug, flicked it, and I can see it right in the corner. So take your guess, what do you think it's gonna be? It's right down there. It's another it's, it looks like another ring. Not too far from where I found that other one. Probably another, another 50 feet just behind me. There you go. That's a nice looking ring.
take some of the dirt out and see if I can get a stamp on it. Push that piece out. It's not coming out. Okay guys, give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay, I cleaned it out. There is a stamp in there. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it or not. Um, it does say 925, which is sterling. So there you go. Another sterling ring here at the high school. That's pretty good. Two silvers in one day. I'm surprised I haven't got any silver coins yet, but I'm still in a rut for those. But still got silver. There you go. Okay, guys, let's keep moving along. On to the next. Okay, another signal. This one was pretty standard. I think uh, I think it already fell out of the plug here. You can kind of see a little bit of a green remnant right there. That's what copper does. That's the copper seeping out of the coin. So we'll see where it is. It's probably somewhere close here. There it is. Here's the green. Probably a 70s or something like that. That's what we've been getting today. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably something like that. Okay, guys, on to the next. Okay, I've got another signal down here, guys. It's on the end of the pin pointer. Copper scent. Put that up there. Anything else? Yep. I've already got quite a few coins from this hole. Right there. It's come out of this one spot. The original signal was really all over the place. It was real sketchy, so. Got some more down here. Nothing seems to be super old. Let's see if I can get it out. something in there yeah it's another coin Let's see if there's anything else That seems to be about it. Got a couple out of there. Anyway, guys, um, uh, as I as I might have mentioned earlier on, I moved to a different spot now, so I'm gonna try my luck over here. There was a lot of trash on the other side. Um, signals every every swing there was 10, 15 signals. I was just trying to pick in and out of everything. It, it gets uh, mentally challenging at times to to deal with all the noise and stuff. So. I need a bit of a break from that, so I'm over here now. Okay guys, we're gonna keep moving along. Hopefully we can get something else.